Okay. We talked earlier about measurements and how industry says that the difference between my waist and my hip line should be seven inches for my size, for my gender. And mine is 11. What happens if yours is five? We're gonna assume yours is five. So we need to shorten this skirt, but we need to shorten it from waist to hip, not in length. And the best way to accomplish that is you just cut it off at the hip line. And you reattach. Now when I do that, if I'm shortening, I actually overlap it this way. We are shortening a half of an inch. And the reason I do it that way is because I need the new hip line to be in the new spot. If we shortened this and I left my original hip line, then I haven't changed anything. So I need my hip line to be half an inch higher. So this is my new hip line. I have just overlapped it a half of an inch. And that's it. The alteration's finished. So it's not the front? That's the back, but you would do exactly the same thing to the front? Thank you. Uh-huh. Now, as you can see on the back, I have not impacted my darts at all. Nothing is impacted except for my hip line has moved up half an inch. And the skirt has gotten shorter that half an inch. That's it. I know. Isn't that lovely? Now, if you do the front, you do exactly the same because they have to match down the side seam. They have to be exactly the same down the side seam. This is number 12. And 12 and 13. 13 will be the front. Okay, now on your paper, it says that the shorten at hip lines, both front and back, and the lengthen at hip lines, front and back. Talk about pivot method, talk about seam method, all of that. That is way too much work. They're just all going to be slash because you just whack it off. Now, what happens if you're going to do 14 and... Um, no, third, yeah, 14 and 15, which is for my hip lines. Once again, we're going to whack it off. Except for this time, we're going to gap it and we're moving an inch. So we would fill it in with that paper. I need paper I can cut. Sorry, folks. Make sure we're moving an inch and that my center back line is still square. And then my hip line would no longer be here because I just lengthened my hip line. This is the new hip line. So it's more your labeling that moves, but other than that, the alteration's finished. So now you ought to be able to do 12, 13, 14, and 15. We're skipping 10 and 11. 